welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your mouton sleeve okay so this form of sleeve is actually very cute beautiful and it's full and you can basically attach it to any style of your choice so for me i'll be attaching this mouton sleeve to a monostra bustier flare dress which i have a detailed tutorial on how to achieve that already so i'm going to go ahead and put down the link of that video in the description box below so you can check it out so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to be able to achieve your mouton sleeve you have your round sleeve measurements and your sleeve length so our round sleeve measurements is 16 16 divided by 2 we have 8 inches our sleeve length is 22 22 plus 2 inches we have 24 inches now because this mouton sleeve is actually like a very full sleeve please bear it in mind that you are going to be adding enough allowance to it and the more allowance you add to this sleeve we determine how full is going to be and the more fuller it is the more beautiful your sleeve is going to be so you can add 10 inches it depends on what you want but the method i'm going to be using to achieve this sleeve is i'm going to be using our pattern drafting method and i'll be making use of slash and spread method which i'm going to explain in detail in the course of this tutorial please join us on facebook td designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys now we want to cut out our mouton sleeve and we are going to be starting with our basic regular sleeve now if you don't know how to make your basic sleeve or you want me to make a tutorial on the basic sleeve please put that down in the comment section but if you know how to make a basic sleeve grab your basic sleeve and let's turn this to a mouton sleeve so the first thing you have to do now is to measure you know where you want your mouton to end okay so where you want it to end you go ahead and measure that so i marked 11 inches so you can you know mark 10 you can mark 12 it depends on where you want it to end so this is what it looks like so the next thing we are basically going to do now is we are going to go ahead and open up our sleeve okay go ahead and open up your sleeve now once you open up your sleeve you draw a straight line so for me because my pattern paper is folded i automatically have that straight line so i'll just go ahead and you know i'll just go ahead and mark the straight line so once you mark your straight line the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead from this point from this point right you go ahead and come down with three inches from this point so you come down with three inches this is where you have your three inches now the next thing you are going to do now is to mark you know you can decide to use three inches three inches three inches interval so the first one i have three six nine right and i'll also mark that at this other point right so three six nine so this is what i have so what i'm going to do now so for me it means that i'm going to have three you know three layers and three layers on this part also but it depends on you like i said you can just have two okay two is also fine so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to connect every of this line to this center line so i'll go ahead now and connect it this way i will also connect this this way i'll also connect this this way right so we'll also do the same for this other part connect what i have here this way connect it and also connect it also so 
this is what we are going to have right so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and open this up okay we'll go ahead and we'll open this up go ahead and open so guys now you've opened this you've placed this on your pattern paper so the next thing you are going to do now is determine how many inches you want to open up for your mouton sleeve okay how many inches do you want to open this up you can decide that you know you want it to be three inches you can decide you want it to be four inches it depends on you so you go ahead now and you know take your measurements so we have three inches so we have three inches you know just go ahead open it up measure what you have you have three inches so i'm making it of three and a half inches so you go ahead and you pin it down or you tape it down so you move to the next part you know where you have your slash you measure also so you are basically just using like the same three inches for everything so you move to the next one you measure what you have we have three inches so if you basically started with three inches it means like you are going to have three inches all through for your slashes so you go ahead you measure the next one three inches or three and a half i'm making it of three and a half inches so you pin them down you open it up so i'm just taping it basically you open it up you know measure it again and then you tape it down so i've gone ahead now to tape this part down so i also come to this part also and do the same right because you're basically going to have the same on both sides so you tape it down tape it down you check out what you have on the other side and then you tape it down you check out what you have Check out what you have on the other side three inches you go ahead and tip it down and also for the last piece so mine is actually going to be very full but please you might not have to create so many splash um slash this way you know you might not have to create so many slash this way so this is what it looks like or this is what you should have at the end of the day this is what you should have at the end of the day so let me just turn it this way so this is what you should have you can see like we've opened it up and then we have this full stuff going on okay so the next thing you have to do now is to give this your curve right like you're supposed to have like a curve just like the way you have your normal sleeve but one way to guide you through in order for you to know how to get the curve is simply draw a straight line so i'm going to just draw a straight line so draw a straight line where all these stops like where all your splashes stops so from this straight line now you go ahead and mark you know you can mark four inches you can mark five inches at this middle point at this middle line you know you can mark four inches five three it depends on you know how high you want it to be so that you can get that curve that curve for your sleeve that's just what you want to achieve so this point now i don't know if you guys can see it but okay so this point now you know you go ahead and have your new sleeve curve so you're just basically creating like the curve you have for your sleeve so guys can you see what we have so you're just basically creating like a new curve for your sleeve a new curve for your sleeve a new curve for your sleeve so this is what it looks like so the next thing you are going to do now is you know you're just going to go ahead and cut this out just go ahead and cut this out so for this side by the time you join the line this is basically what you are going to have okay so this is what you're going to have you can see your curve so let me just go ahead now and cut this out and show you guys what it looks like
so guys after cutting it out this is what we have like i will say please this might be too much for you okay you might not want your muson slip to be as big as this okay it's because of the style that i am making it's a very big muton mermaid sleeve so that is why you know i had to open as many slash as possible and also you know when it's full it has it when you when your muton is actually very full you know it gives it that full beauty but please if you don't want it to be as full as this feel free to reduce it okay instead of having um as many slash as possible you can just have two you can just have three please go ahead and you know be creative about it and just do what suits you right okay or what you want so this is going to be our new sleeve so we are going to have this now as our new sleeve so what i'm going to do now is i will just go ahead and what i'm going to do now is because i'm going to go ahead now and attach this lower part okay let me just cut this out let me cut this out um okay because the pattern paper i attached to it at the lower part is actually short so i'll just go ahead and attach this part this way i hope you guys get what i did so i'm just basically like attaching this um lower part that doesn't have any effects don't forget that the lower part we didn't have any effect for the lower part our lower part is just like our regular sleeve at the end of the day so by the time you are done you can see so let me just pin this down so by the time you are done you can see what it looks like so you can look you can see your sleeve coming this way your mouton area and this is what it looks like so by the time you you know fold it into two which will give you by the time you go ahead and fold this into two you can see how full it is but if you don't want it to be full please reduce you know the number of layers right so this is what i have i'll go ahead now and transfer this to the fabric and let's see what it looks like okay so guys now for the sleeve after cutting it out you can see i've gone ahead now to place it on my pattern on my fabric rather i've placed my pattern paper on my fabric and then i folded my fabric into two so i'll go ahead and just cut this out so you can basically just trace it out first before cutting this out right so i'll just go ahead now and mark this so i'll cut this out and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead and set my pattern paper aside so this is what our sleeve looks like right so basically i'm going to show you guys how to attach this to your arm oh so you just automatically stitch all these parts to your arm oh by the time you stitch it to your arm oh it's gonna have like a very big puffy balloon at this part right so this is what it looks like i'll show you guys how to attach it to your arm oh so guys we basically went ahead to let me zoom this in so you can see we went ahead to just split it round your arm oh so just go ahead and pleat it round the arm oh and this sleeve is so is so nice like so beautiful guys look at the way it's standing look at the way it's standing look at the way it's puffing there is no lining on this sleeve to at achieve this you can see it's standing on its own there is no lining there is no elastic at all and you can see the way your sleeve is popping out okay so this is one sleeve you can rock on any style and it is so cute so beautiful you can make yours like a longer version like a long sleeve or you can make it like a short sleeve and i hope you guys enjoyed it so by the time you go ahead now and pleat it round your arm oh and then you go ahead and just stitch the other part this is what is going to look like so i went ahead now to attach this sleeve to my one shoulder bustier dress and i have a tutorial where i explain how to achieve this one shoulder bustier dress if you're interested in learning how to achieve this so that you can have this cute effect then go ahead and watch the link in the description box below i'm going to put down the video of this mono strap dress okay in the description box so you can go ahead and watch that if you're interested in learning how to achieve this but basically you can attach your sleeve to your mouton sleeve to any dress <laughs>
this is so cute guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so if you feel like your sleeve is not full enough doing the slash and spread method you can add more to it and if you want it to be lesser than this you can reduce it during the slash and spread method so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one look at the way it's standing guys it's so cute there is no lining and there is no elastic i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll 